tuned in live to undergroundradar.com. Uh, it's under with a with an A at the end of under under, under the urban version. We are in the house with the most uh, auspicious and established. He is very much a uh, uh, artist. Baking and his, soda. Yeah, <laughs> I've got baking, baking soda. soda. <laughs> so ridiculous. You know what I mean? A very talented yes. uh, businessman, yes. artist, yes. entrepreneur. <laughs> he is a Negro. Hmm. Street Scott is in the building. Hola. Hola. Yes. Hola indeed. Yes. <laughs> Hola indeed. Hola indeed. <laughs> Yo, I, can't stand him. I had to drag you down here, right? Yes. Now, mind you, he's famous. So he's always doing famous stuff. Studio sessions, models in the Alps, you know, skiing down the slopes. You know how real Dude, rich people do it. The slopes of Cherry Hill. The slopes of Cherry Hill. <laughs> word. <laughs> word. Up. Word. He doesn't eat normal food. I don't. He eats the next level stuff. His chicken is only is only fried in the most essential oils. Sprinkled with moon dust. Sprinkled with moon dust. So you know it's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how such albums and music can be created from such a great person that's right we'll now, forever. Yeah. now that we are done stroking your gonads we can actually get to the interview all right yes. so how are you doing today um super duper man I'm good that's it super yeah. duper super that's duper. it that, yeah. i didn't like that that wasn't gangster enough yeah. yo all right we're gonna take that back yo. i'm gonna ask you again straight yo, up how yo. you what's up straight bro? up man i feeling? call like three joints on the way over that's here what I'm something talking good about, yo. Yo. I'm here, that's, man. that's how you're supposed <laughs> to go <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm good man we good now what I'm going to do is when I'm throwing a couple of things on the table, I'm going to break out some CDs. Uh, Your task is to tell me where were you at the time when you first heard this and how you feel about this project. All right. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm going to switch it up. I got one on this side. These are industry, national level things. And then I got some local, local, ill, historical stuff here. Wow. So we're going to go back and forth. I just want you to be prepared. So, all right. I'm going to give you your choice. You want to go local first? Or you want to go national first? How you want to do it? Local. Let's go local. Let's go home. Let's, let's, let's take it home first. Oh! So uh, we're going to show the camera real quick. We're going to take it back a little bit. Hey, what was what, that? All righty. Tim Trees. Yeah. Volume one. For one. And the CD is still in there, I think. Hopefully <gasps> nobody didn't steal it. All right. It's all good. Hold on. Hold on. Let's, let's, let's see, let's yeah, see how legit yeah. you really... Yo, you the man. It's not scratched up. You no. the man. I'd have killed somebody that scratched uh, up. Shout out to Tim Trees, Wayne Jones. Or Wayne Jones got Wayne me Jones. for $20 off of that joint. 20 bucks straight? That's Hustler right there. That's Hustler. They got me for the 20 Holy crap. <laughs> well. <laughs> when it first came out. This album, we were just some young guys on Fulton Avenue, and he had the city on lock with bankroll. You could. You damn right. Every person that rode through the block on the summer. Was blasting that you were not outside and did not hear that record. You were tripping like if you didn't hear that record, something was wrong. Yo. Oh <laughs> Very my true. god! He, I thought he was the man. Like you couldn't tell me nothing. I thought he made it with bankroll. I honestly thought he made it. Yeah, like, I, I thought, thought he made. Was, it. I thought everybody in the world was listening yeah. to bankrolls at the like, time. This guy gotta be a millionaire. Yeah. He gotta be. Bankroll was everywhere. And what was the other song? He had like two singles up. Yeah, one when he was talking about ball fifty hoes, and I was like, yeah, and jumping in a sedan. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, but that was. This album like was home. Like you yeah. really like you had to be from here to really appreciate this true album. That. Even if it got out there, I think you still wouldn't have got it unless you were from here. Very true. This is Very this true. is amazing. I'm so happy All that right. you got this album. That's yeah. cool. Oh no, that's not the that's the first one. We Good gonna, for you, man. We're gonna put that on the uh -oh. side here. We're just gonna put that on the side here. Hopefully you can see it. All right. Yeah. The next one is Oh <laughs> Jay. What's that? What's that? Yeah. We in the building. <laughs> first of all, Master P is one of my heroes. So let's be straight about that. First of all, if it's anything that makes money, he was involved in it. True that. His Silk the Shackle was his brother. So we'll just leave it at that. He was, he was kind of... He had business. hits. He had hits, he had but hits. that's what happens when you're the boss's brother. Like, yeah. he, hey, make sure he got them hits. So yo, it ain't his fault. He really wasn't crazy. his fault. Skull Duggery, yo. Skull Duggery. Yeah, Mr. Servon. <laughs> Where were you in your life? When you first, it doesn't even have to be that one. It could be the first true album. The first true album, I can't even go there. With. I can't go there with you. I don't think I was hip to the uh, No Limit Wave around that time. But this one, on the other hand, when you start putting some sparkly diamonds in the tank. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, man. Um, What was I doing? Still on Fulton. All oh, this is Fulton, yo. This is. Ah, damn. Yeah, yeah. Fulton and Riggs? Fulton and Saratoga. FNS. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. 300, 1800. Okay. Shout out to the homies. Yeah, but, um, okay. uh, this. I'm trying to, yo. I don't even have the CD anymore, yeah. I'll get you a copy. <sighs> this is amazing. Nah, um, everything, no limit. I think we were in 
This is middle school, yeah. Yeah, this had to be like. Now, how did you feel about Beast by the Pound? Like the whole production team and the way they went about putting things together. Mm. I mean, considering you're a producer, like you had to have had some kind of yeah. The I know Mercedes that. <laughs> that I always wanted to listen to that I never heard. <laughs> Yo, oh. so I still don't know what she sounds like as a person, as an entire person. I still don't know what she sounds like. I'm gonna like. find it, yo. Please, and let I'm gonna, me, yo, call I'm, me. I'm, I'm, like, yo, yeah, I got it. I got. Oh, I'm gonna find it. That's not gonna be a problem. But the yo. sound, Beast by the Pound. Yeah, KLC. Um, yeah. What was my man? Uh, Moby. Yeah, him. Moby. Yeah. yeah. Moby Penis. Moby. All right, whatever. The whale right. guy. Yeah. yeah, that guy. Yo, Master P had a Master P doll. Are you serious? Yo, no lie. I was so much of a Master P fan. Yo, we had the sneakers when they first came out. Yo, I had a pair of them. I, I can't be mad at you. I had the Birdman. Oh, so those, yeah, those you Bird know, Man some yeah, things yeah, you just yeah. believe in. You, you know? got, yeah, you got, you get sucking in sometimes. Yeah. That's how it That's is. on camera too. So I mean, uh, <laughs> it is what it is. They yeah. had a, they had a producer called Sugar Bear. They had KLC who did most of the beats. KLC, Kano, the Kano, oh, Kano, Kano on the Beato. Yeah, <laughs> you had good. Odell. Uh, nah. All right, and let's see. You had Meech. Ah, nah. Man, what you think about that guy? Let's be real. Let's be all the way Let's real. Let's go. I'm going to tell y'all some real shit because a lot Yo. of people don't have this argument enough. He's the only one that actually did it. He's the only one that actually made it. National he, only record. One. I was in Houston, Texas recording my first album <clears throat> with one of my favorite producers and family. I was in Houston, Texas, and they were bumping that shit in the club. That will now joint. And yeah. I was smash drunk, and them Houston dudes was going crazy over that record. No lie. I have never heard that album, but out of respect, you would, people like to hate, say whatever they say, whatever they got to say. But he's mm-hmm. the only one who made it to the point. Word. He made retail, word on a major, word with a video, word on the games and all that stuff. Word. And no he's the only it. dude from Baltimore that will not give me an interview. Funny. <laughs> been trying to link up with him for years. Funny. Has not been able to happen. So anyway, interesting. Uh, yeah, it's all good. Um, <sighs> eighty dimes. He he ran with a crew, the eighty dimes crew or whatever. They had a team. bunch of stuff going on. They have. I would say they were the only other team next to Boss Man that really had a lot of things going on. They were everywhere, putting CDs out everywhere. Because yeah, Boss Man had a team that the was Northeast like, Kings, they were up and then top, right, and, and then eighty there. dimes had the whole South Side. It was just crazy. It was another one. Um, what was the um. 50,000 uh, 50, heads or something like that. Something Am I saying like it that. right? You yeah, know what I'm talking about? Yeah, because it might have been 50,000 heads. Yeah, it was another crew that was big right. like them. So but it was they like never, three crew. Yeah. They probably never figured out how to brand. They didn't get that one guy they needed to yeah. get them there. And that was another problem locally. Like, we would have like eight guys and they all be fighting for the number one spot and yeah. it would never work. All right. Let's go back. Shout talk about Magoo. this guy. Talk about this guy. You want me to talk about Magoo and Timberland? <laughs> <laughs> no, I want you to talk about. I want you to talk about them both. Like we're the working God, at the time. The now that's an album that got actually got recalled, and a lot of those date. If you really try to Google it, you can't find it. It's what? not available on iTunes. I never heard that story. What happened? It's just it was an album that really did really bad. So oh, they, they tried to took it back. Yeah, they uh, try to sweep. Like there are certain albums that they'll try to sweep under the rug and act like it never happened. Like when they, when you look at his catalog, they don't include that a lot of times. Like it's crazy. Oh, um, but Jade. him as a producer, yeah. yo, what man? How you feel about him? First of all, you know, as our last interview, uh, yeah, yeah, the guy is. My whole style is like molded off of Timo. Like, of course, everyone knows I idolize Pharrell, but my sound is based off of Timbaland. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. this guy, he was so futuristic. Like everybody Favorite wanted to be Timbaland song. Not off of that product, it was just. There's something that you really feel like changed your life. Like, like there's some joints that Timbaland did that I was just like, I can't figure out to this day, like, how did you do that? Uh, That question is tough. Uh. Mm. Or, if it makes it easier, your favorite Timbaland project that you might, like, he might have produced the whole project. project. Um, (sighs) It's his first solo album. That uh, not the first really? one. The um From the first Timberland and Magoo joint? No, no, no. What was the oh, one? Oh, 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 Shock oh, oh. Value. Oh, Shock that's not his first album. Not it's his first second. album. I mean uh, the that what? album. That you album. You like the Shock album? I no. loved it. Sound wise, he was just on a whole That was level. that's when he came back. He was he was dead for a minute. Remember mm-hmm. everybody wrote him off, right. Timberland was that's finished. True. That's true. We thought it was no more Timberland and then Boom. He came back and cha- literally changed. Then the, the game. Justin shit happened right behind that. And I applauded that album. You know, he killed it. He killed, killed it. it. That album was definitely awesome. Thank you, Timberland. All right. Right, definitely, definitely. They be lurking on your ground. They be lurking, they be lurking. Damn, nigga, like a fucking bitch. 